It may look like a hole in the ground to some, but to Teddy Allen, master of the Allen Yard, the dead grass and newly dug holes signify a new beginning. Hey, Teddy, can you kind of tell me uh, what's been going on today? Uh, we've been watching ball games, made cornbread, and uh, planted some trees. He's planted a lot the last few months. Cabbages, gardenias, sweet olives, and much more in some pretty weird areas. This is an ancient Indian burial ground. Three shrubs. We haven't planted them yet. And a wheelbarrow shrub. This ginkgo tree. It'll be very peaty. Very peaty next year, next fall. And what color will that be? It'll be yellow. It's going to yeah. be gorgeous. Going to be what color? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, what do we have out here? Well, this is a type of a Japanese maple. It's a golden. See how red that is. And it'll be feathery golden color leaves next spring. This is where we'll bury our money. Hopefully one day we can buy more trees. <laughs> Thank you for visiting our garden. And this is my helper, Lily. I pee on the trees. That daddy plant. While Teddy continues his garden plans, the seasons change, with the browns of autumn turning to winter whites, plants encased in the ice that the final season brings. But while Teddy and other wannabe master gardeners continue their missions, God, in his perfect way, makes plans of his own to turn this, in just a few months, into this. Linnea Allen, CTV Online News.